As a part of the global war on terror, a Marine Expeditionary Unit Special Operations Capable has been tasked to conduct a raid from Expeditionary Strike Group shipping. A Killer B air vehicle is launched from a guided missile destroyer to conduct pre-assault reconnaissance of raid force landing zones and suspected enemy positions. Stealth is critical to prevent the enemy from gaining information on the landing plan. Killer B video is sent to the Marine Expeditionary Unit Tactical Air Command Center aboard the LHD. Killer B imagery has confirmed conditions for the raid have been met and the amphibious assault commences. As the battalion landing team arrives ashore and establishes its headquarters, control of airborne Killer B air vehicles is passed to the battalion's control stations. A Killer B discovers a yet uncovered surface-to-air missile site in the vicinity of a company objective. The Killer B precisely locates aim points within the site. Video of the SAM site is shared with the affected company commander on his remote receiving station to coordinate the upcoming fire mission. A fire mission is initiated in the Advanced Field Artillery Tactical Data System against the SAM site at the battalion headquarters. The artillery battery responds with four Excalibur rounds fired in one volley, and the SAM site is eliminated as each round guides to its specific aim point and destroys the dug-in air defense equipment. The Killer B remains on station to provide battle damage assessment to the battalion headquarters and the affected company commander. The Killer B air vehicle is replaced by another air vehicle launched from shore and subsequently recovered to prepare for future missions. The Killer B unmanned aircraft system as part of the Expeditionary Strike Group and Marine Expeditionary Unit Special Operations Capable provides key reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition, enabling ship to objective maneuver for combat operations in the global war on terror.